Welcome back. I have an interesting update regarding this crazy evening that I have embarked upon. It's a little disappointing to be honest. Um, I'm finding myself feeling a little, I don't want to say betrayed, but a little undermined. Undermined probably isn't the best word. I just finished filming Dr. Avery's meditation. Uh, she's calling them lectures. So I finished filming her lecture and the other members of the Grounded Few were there. Like I said, they're about 25, 30. I don't know the exact number, but she finished saying her piece. I finished filming it. I came back and I don't know what I was expecting. I guess maybe just some gratitude, maybe some thanks for coming all this way to help her out last minute. But instead, she asked me to respectfully leave. And she has every right to do so. This is... She was facilitating this event, right? Like, she is within her wheelhouse doing that. But... I couldn't help but feel slighted. I came all this way to help her out, and she kind of turned me away. Even though the quote-unquote ceremony was going to continue well after I left. Uh, she said that I was not a full-fledged member of the Grounded Few, and therefore I could not be there for anything but the lecture. Um, so the ceremony is continuing now um, without me. And this reminds me of this point on persuasion that I wanted to make. Because Dr. Avery has, I've noticed, been increasingly adamant on getting me to look into tentatively joining the Grounded Few. I've been doing so much work with them, why not become a member? And I'm hesitant to do that just because I don't need anything else clouding up my life right now. I want to do things the way that I want to do them, and I'm not looking for any set standard guidance. And I guess this seems very much, uh, this is more, the more time I spend with a grounded few, the more I see that they're about wellness and about making yourself grounded and finding the inner truth. And I'm all about finding the inner truth, but I want to do it on my terms. Um, anyhow, she's been adamant on getting me to join, and I see this, what's happening right now, as a method of persuading me to do so. So, in persuasion, there are in-groups and there are out-groups. In-groups are the people who are included in what is seen as normatively good, right? In-groups get to kind of decide what the norms are, because they are in. And there are in-groups when it comes to all sorts of cultures. There can be in-groups with school, there can be in-groups in the community, in-groups in religion, in-groups in workplaces. And right now, that's the in-group, and this is the out-group. And that's a powerful thing, because when you are put into the out-group, you are the minority. And as the minority, I just want to be able to fit in here. And I've been helping them out so much that I think, or that I want to think, you know, I'm somewhat owed this. Now, I'm not owed anything, right? I'm curious. I want to see what's going on behind the curtain right now. And I'm just not being given the opportunity to. And it feels as though that I'm just being slighted. So, I'm a little upset about that. At the same time, the lecture today was powerful. The people were great. I felt as though I was making connections. I felt as though, I don't want to say I belonged, but I felt as though that they saw me and that's really something powerful. And so that might also play into the whole in-group, out-group thing. Right now from the outside, it sure looks pretty good over there, but I'm not gonna take the bait. I'm gonna make my own decisions. Anyhow, all that to say, sometimes you're made to be the out-group, sometimes you're slighted, but you just gotta pick up and keep moving on. Um, at the end of the day, this made for an exciting night and there may be many more to come, so. Till next time.